what's happening guys welcome on back to the channel as always appreciate you stopping by coming on through you did one of these and i hope that you stopped in the midst of one of these and watching the video and don't just keep doing this anyway so let's go ahead and listen to the uh next song we're gonna listen to some more royal scam steely dan uh let's listen to don't take me alive coming after the caves of altamira uh which we've listened to a while ago and let's just I feel like listening to Steely Dan, and I feel let's just keep on going with this track here. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and listen to the track. We'll talk about it after. Here we go. That made me dizzy. Sometimes this is what you need, guys. what you need Taking me alive. Heard how that guitar solo came in? It's Steely Dan. What more do you want? What more do you want from the Dan except that? <sighs> so catchy. 
Ba -da -da. And then the chorus. Da -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -da Oh, they, they just have this formula that, for me, at least at this point in listening to them, it doesn't get old. You know what to expect with them, but sometimes it's not un not expecting the unexpected. You want to expect what you can expect, and what's expected is greatness, and I think that we get it here. It is incredibly catchy, obviously superb musicianship. It doesn't always need to be flashy. Here you have some sleek machine, chromed out, and it sounds great. Drumming is precise and beautiful. The bass playing is... Mm, mm, mm. The little bits of guitar that are strewn throughout with calm leads that are, that are just coming out of light, light through the clouds are just really lovely. The singing is great. Harmonies are great. Everything's great. <laughs> Everything's good. And you would have little moments where you would really hear the keyboards come in just briefly. Little flashes of them that I thought worked really, really well. This is just one of those songs that... I think hits all the right notes. You have Larry Carlton on guitar, it looks like, on this track, um, performing that little bit of a solo. Like, well, of course it's going to be great. <laughs> what would you expect? Uh, and then on this particular track, you have Rick Morota on the drums, putting down that, that, I don't know, just putting down the groove. Everyone's amazing. It's it's Lily Dan, once again. <laughs> it's not that I'm a loss for words, it's just what else am I going to say? That hasn't been said before and that you haven't heard at this point. Agents of the law, luckless pedestrian, I know you're out there with rage in your eyes and your megaphones. Saying all is forgiven, mad dog surrender. How can I answer a man of my mind can do anything? So I feel like we're having a little bit of a, uh, not hostage situation, but, um, you know, cops are outside or whoever the law is outside calling to you in the house. You're holed up in there and they're like, come out. You're like, nah, you're going to shoot me if I come out. Kind of kind of situation. I'm a bookkeeper's son. I don't want to shoot no one. Well, I cross my old man back in Oregon. Don't take me alive. Got a case of dynamite. I could hold out here all night. He's saying, listen, I got dynamite. I'm where well, I ain't moving. I ain't going anywhere. And if y'all try to come in. Gonna have a little bit of a kablooey situation in here. Can you hear the evil crowd, the lies and the laughter? I hear my inside the, mechan the mechanized hum of another world where no sun is shining, no red flight flashing. Here in this darkness, I know what I've done. I know all at once who I am. Like, I, I feel like he's really, obviously, if he's in this kind of hold up situation, it's not a good time, but he's at his wits end. And in some ways, I feel like his mental rope, for lack of a better word, is beginning to unravel. Uh, and then the chorus actually just repeats from there. So uh, I I don't think he's going to be taken alive. The the ending there it's not really an ending. There's nothing really decisive on what happens there. But I I think he's he's at the end of his rope. He's he's done. Either that or there's going to be a big explosion at some point. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of the track in the comments below. You can follow me over on Twitter, support the channel, and Patreon. Thank you so much for being here. Come back tomorrow, and I'll see you all then, guys. Bye.